Hello and welcome to Getting Clean on the Prairies. I just want to do a quick update on my cucumbers that I have done a couple videos on trying to pollinate these to get them to produce some cucumbers. And it hasn't been going well, so I just thought I would show you kind of the results of some of the pollinating that I've tried to do on these. Um, this here is an example of one that did not go well. So I had taken male flowers and tried to do some hand pollinating of these and I don't think any of them are going to take off and grow. Um, I just wanted to do a shout out to Jeff from Grow Something with Jeff. He, um, he and I watch each other's videos and comment and he also does a lot of crack key growing and has some great videos so be sure to check him out. Um, he told me that if I didn't get self-pollinating cucumbers, I was probably not going to have much success, but, uh, and he was right, but I gave it a try. I do have my cucamelons growing up here. Like I say, they have such nice vines. Uh, I'll try to find one here. Anytime that I had one that was blooming, I did some hand pollinating on them but it doesn't look like any of them are taking off. So it looks like I'm going to have to remove these cucumbers from my growing space. So I went online and, and found a, um, a, a seed, cucumber seeds that are self-pollinating. So I've got these started under the grow lights here. So we are going to try again. So I've got lots of time. I think these um, should germinate within the next eight to 10 days and 50 days to maturity. So I'm gonna give it a second try with the cucumbers indoors using the crack key method. I just planted these up yesterday in my arrow garden, some tiny Tims and tumbler tomatoes. And these I hope will um, be a little better growing in this Arrow Garden, I had done two determinant tomatoes that you've probably seen some of my videos that got quite large and were kind of hard to manage. So I think trying a couple this size will uh, result in some more uh, larger harvests of tomatoes, hopefully. Something else that I've got under the grow lights here are some strawberries, something that I've really been anxious to try and grow indoors. These are the Fresca strawberries. And I'm testing out a cheap little grow light that I purchased from the dollar store for four bucks. You can see it's got quite a pink color to it. I've got it just set up with the lamp here that I, uh, desk lamp that I'm using. And these take quite a while to germinate. These take 18 to 24 days to germinate. So it's going to be a long waiting game to see if these actually germinate or not. Also under the grow lights here, I have started some celery seed. So I've started another uh, celery plant here from a stock that I bought from the store. I'm just waiting for the bottom to root out a bit and then I will set it up in a crack key container. I had success with one of these already in my first round of growing. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to try another one and compare it against uh, growing celery from seed. So these are my three pepper plants that I have started um, in the first round of my indoor growing. The paprika peppers here, as you can see, are um, doing pretty good and they should be turning color from yellow to, um, to finally into a red color when they're fully ripe. So I'm hoping that they will do that for me and I will make some uh, paprika powder out of them. I had done a video on the difference between pruning and not pruning with these two plants and as you can see there isn't really much difference now this is the one that i did prune here that has the white tape on the lid um, i tried to cut out a lot of the bloom so i didn't get too overcrowded with fruit this one does have a lot more but you can see they're a lot smaller and this one's got a couple of nice size peppers here so I'll keep an eye on those and see how they do. And this is my sweet um, mini bell pepper 
plant that I started from seeds that I took from a store-bought pepper and it is starting to get some little peppers on it now which is exciting. I would say peppers like these um, are probably one of the easier things to grow using the crack key method. I've had good success with them in the past and they, I run a fan on these plants when they're blooming uh, periodically throughout the day and that seems to be all they need to uh, pollinate and produce some peppers. So I also planned on getting some uh, more lettuce started here. This is the container that I grew uh, arugula and romaine lettuce in in the first round and it turned out really well. So I'm going to plant up some more. Um, I went through my seeds and picked out a few different things. So I'm going to plant some more romaine. I have some of my own arugula seeds that I harvested off my outdoor plant that I'll put in. Some Yugoslavian butter, red butterhead lettuce. This is a really pretty red lettuce that I planted last summer. And I'm going to also try some spinach. So those four greens will go into this container and I'll get that started up right away. I have some new um, hydroponic nutrients that I'm testing out. In my first round, I used the um, Root Farm brand to mix up my hydroponics and it came in, in two parts. This comes in three. And uh, so we are going to use it for all the new plants that I'm starting and see if I can uh, notice any difference, good or bad, with this brand. This here is another uh, Russian Saskatchewan tomato that I grew in just a cracky type container. It's the same type of tomato I had in the Arrow Garden. And as you can see, it's starting to uh, have one tomato ripen here for me. But I also see, noticed that it looks like it might have some blossom end rot, which is interesting. Um, I think that I have kind of let this plant get dried out a few times. So that could be one of the reasons. Um, Jeff, you better uh, comment on this and let me know maybe what uh, what's going on with this one. So I hope you enjoyed my little tour of the update of what is going on on my indoor growing space. Uh, round two of my new vegetables and fruit that I've just planted has just started so please hit the subscribe button and uh, follow along to see how those turn out. I also hope that you will uh, find that this type of growing is not that hard and it's something that anybody can do. I have a lot of tutorial videos on how to get started using the crack key method so please check them out and don't be afraid to start growing your own food. So thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next video.